right. Adding a transparent uh, label to a bottle. So I have my bottle set up. Um, well, here it is right here. I'll just uh, hide these. And this will be the one I'm working on. So what I'm going to do is go here. Go to something like um, Sprite PNG. Um, images. We'll go to image size, extra large. Um, is this a PNG? No. Oh, no, that might have been a PG. Okay, it is right. So I'm going to right click, save as. I'm going to save this. So this is my Sprite PNG. All right, so we're back here in cinema. I'm going to click on this and this will be Sprite. I'll go to the color. Let me find this file. Ah, I forget what it said. Hold on, let me find it real quick. Show folder. All right. So let me go back here and My Sprite PNG and I'll click yes right here. And so I have my Sprite PNG on this uh, sphere. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this texture and go to copy. And then I'm going to go into alpha right here. Right click on the texture and paste. All right. And click this. And what this is done is it's made uh, it's taken that transparency and uh, it's masked it out with the alpha All right. so now i'll take this. material this sprite and i'll put it on the bottle right and now we have it here. Okay now to adjust it the size i'm just going to click cylinder. Um, Oh, let's just click cylinder. Let's click on this and we'll click on this right here. We actually, I'm doing this wrong. I'm looking for um, my UVs. Ah, this right here, I'm sorry. You click on the material and then click on this and we go to cylindrical. So now we can move this up and down. And what you can see is that it's kind of repeating up here at the top. And so to get it to not repeat, we just go to tile, we click on this. So now it's just one single um, image instead of a tile of images. And so we can adjust the size right here. So you see what's happening? So this is kind of stretching it and this is scaling it down. So let's say I want it to be around 42 and I'll change this one to 42. And I'll bring it down like right here. Now, okay. I'm liking it. So I'm gonna go into this in a little bit later today, but click on this. All right, showing there. Now, let's say, what if you wanted to be green, the bottle to be green? I'll just double click on this right here. And I'll name this, uh, I don't know, 
soda green. Uh, all right, click on this. Um, I'll click on this to get a new color. And say I'll take that and turn it up. All right. So now I'll take this and I will drag it onto the bottle, which puts this one before. I guess it puts it over it, so it's covering it up. So all I have to do is switch the order. And now the Sprite labels on the front. And everything looks good. Yeah, so that's how you would get the uh, the transparent label on there. And then, you know, because of Cinema 4D, I'm not, well, I guess if this was far away, it would look okay. But if I was to take this and I don't know, make it, I don't know what the sprite cap looks like necessarily, but um, it also like take certain faces like these faces, oh, cylinder. And I could like, you know, do something like that. Press nine. So of course that looks weird, but you know, I think you'll get what I'm saying. Yeah, so that's how you put a logo on an object or on a bottle. 